it does not matter to an examiner whether you have understood the concept or not examiner will only see if you have written it or not try to make monthly and weekly targets daily targets is tough to follow but abhi kabhi uska like hota na kabhi मैसेज आ गया गर्लफ्रेंड का तो हो जाता है कि डेली टारगेट डेली नहीं रह जाता टू डेली हो जाता है ट्रस्ट मी इट्स नॉट अबाउट लाइक इट्स अबाउट मेकिंग योर आंसर्स लाइक्ड बाय समवन एल्स द एग्जामिनर नॉट गर्लफ्रेंड और बॉयफ्रेंड एग्जामिनर सो इट डज नॉट मैटर हाउ मच ज्ञानी यू आर यू शुड बी नोइंग हाउ टू राइट द आंसर एंड बींग एबल टू कन्विंस हिम दैट येस आई नो द आंसर राइट हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज रवि कुमार आई हैव सिक्योर्ड रैंक एटी फोर्थ इन सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन ट्वेंटी and this was my second attempt in my first attempt i got indian railway account service my option was geography so i just want to quickly brief about uh, some of the things that i did in geography optional and would like to keep this uh, video very uh, very short uh, detail uh, we can do some sometimes later but since uh, i'm running out of time uh, this is uh, a brief of what geography is and what should be the approach uh, regarding geography in my respect in in my perspective okay so uh, first of all uh, geography is an optional why i am almost decent to talk about it is because uh, in geography in my 2019 attempt i got 207 marks the bifurcation uh, in g an optional one an optional two i can give you the bifurcation also i got uh, uh, 128 marks in optional one and 84 marks in optional two this was a very uh, significantly low marks that i got in my second attempt i did some of the adjustments uh, and by what i mean in adjustment is not significantly improving my knowledge base but yes making some adjustment uh, in some of the sources that i am using and the way i am presenting myself so the number in the 22nd uh, 2020 uh, attempt uh, shot up to 279 so almost equal to 280 not the best but they are good uh, they, they are good enough considering the marking scheme the optionals are having these days uh, as far as the bifurcation is concerned i got one marks more than the last year in this segment but in this segment i got 150 marks and there are few things that i did not do uh, some of the things are very shocking but then also 150 was the score that i got which is significantly higher than this attempt it is 64 marks jump right in one paper and that actually created all the differences this uh, this time so optional uh, specifically in geography uh, plays a whole lot important role not just in uh, deciding uh, the rank but also in deciding the 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 job that you might be getting uh, because uh, in the list it depends upon where you are coming right so what are the thing that i did actually to make this and to have almost decent uh, score on this they're not very bad but this is actually uh, a good score uh, in second paper not not that good also but yeah decent score over there so few things are there uh, i'll just quickly touch upon those areas first is i'm trying to tell you about the basic some of the basic of geography uh, geography uh, geography or any optional actually contains 500 out of 2025 uh, marks this is actually a significant chunk uh, the, uh, as compared to uh, the gs papers this uh, the improvement in optional can be very significant whereas uh, the scope in gs uh, paper can not be is not that much uh, the, the scope is not that much if you are on a good level only but here you can really significantly improve your marks so if that is the thing then we should understand what what, what optional is all about right so there are two papers optional one and optional two paper i mean same paper paper one paper two of optional so i will just remove o from here paper one and paper two paper one have two different segments uh, one is physical geography i'll just write uh, some words of it physical geography another one part is human geography and paper 2 have indian geography where all of where both of these things are combined so in this we have indian geography i think this is clear up until here in indian geography also we study about human the human geography of india the physical setting of india and all those things so this is what uh, the paper theme looks like now uh, what are the book list that i followed so considering the book list i followed i am not going to recommend the same because my book list has not been a comprehensive one first and it has not been a strategic one second uh, so what i recommend and some of the books that i also tried were first is uh, for the physical geography uh, for, for the physical geography a good book uh, on this okay first of all uh, you should definitely do ncert of Uh, of 11th and 12th class at least 
This will not just help you in option, but it will also help you in means. And they are very good comprehensively written. Uh, they might not be sufficient in optional, but uh, they are somehow very good in terms of covering the prelims part. So do them two times, three times, four times and be very, very comfortable with them. First thing, NCRT is like, try to do it, why to play with it and it, it won't take much time also. Second is, uh, then second we are going for the reference books. So if we are talking about the physical geography reference book, I personally uh, refer to uh, Savinder Singh or Sindhu, I think Savinder Singh. Savinder Singh is the name of the author, the book and uh, I had a compiled book of all the five, uh, four, four or five topics where it include the parts like, uh, paper one I have five parts, uh, so one is, phys, uh, one is geomorphology, geomorphology, second is uh, climatology, third is oceanography, Fourth is environment, uh, environmental science or something, uh, environmentalism or the fourth one is that. Fifth one is related to soil and uh, its structure and all those things. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm forgetting the name of these two, but yeah, these are the four things that are there. Uh, usually in market, the usual aspirant, what it does is uh, there are dedicated books available for all of these three, like Jomof, Samindra Singh on geomorphology, Samindra Singh on climatology, Samindra Singh on oceanography, and maybe there, may, there can be a compiled book for these two options, these two also. That is a good way to do it, because in those books, almost all the part of the syllabus is covered. Now, why I'm saying syllabus? See, the moment you are starting geography, the first thing that you should try to do as an optional is see it's a syllabus. Huh? Is that, okay. See it's syllabus and previous year questions. This is going to be your guideline throughout your preparation. It will help you to not go beyond the scope of the paper and it will help you to increase the productivity of whatever you are studying. One mistake that I did in the first attempt and in the second attempt is I never did previous year questions. Maybe that is the reason why I could not get more than 300. I can personally tell you if you are preparing your previous year questions like maybe last 5 year, 10 years or 15 years questions. 10 years is sufficient, I think, but if you're preparing your uh, previous year questions, you are off the chart and in an advantaged position as compared to those who, are, who, have, who have not done it. So it's important to do this. So personally, I would recommend you to actually uh, be more focused on these two things, have them in the bind, uh, print them out, stick them to your paper, to your uh, cupboard, whatever it is that you are studying and always try to, uh, every day try to look at the syllabus when you are preparing for optional and previous year questions. The moment you cover a, a topic in your optional, go to the previous year questions. What are the areas that have been asked? For example, whenever you are completing oceanography, go back to 2018 and 19 and ask and see what are the questions that are asking because the, now the questions being asked are more uh, applied based, more uh, on the basis of application and not the static part of oceanography. Uh, similarly with the soil also is, is the same. So application is coming more. Uh, climatology, they are not uh, asking about what is uh, uh, tropical easterly wet jet stream, etc, etc. They are asking more uh, current affair based questions these days. Uh, so the thing is, they, it will tell you the scope. Climatology and global warming, they may, they may use climatology a lot. You can answer it very good. So if you are having a decent idea of what are the previous year questions, if you have a decent idea of syllabus, it will reduce your time and it will increase uh, your profitability in terms of getting number in the paper. Second, uh, so I had, uh, uh, but uh, as I said, the uh, the aspirants, they have dedicated book for geomorphology, climatology, oceanography and uh, a book on environment and, social, and soil and other things. This is actually a very good way to do because when you have these books uh, dedicatedly, then you will be able to cover a large part of your syllabus uh, which is mentioned in the syllabus. Every single subtopic you will be able to find in them. If one or two topics are not available, you can try to search on Google. What I personally did was there comes a comprehensive book of Savindra Singh. That is uh, some like uh, this thick book, but it does not cover all these topics. One, for, uh, one mistake is that it does not cover all these topics. Second, even in these topics, it doesn't cover all the subtopics. So this is not something that I recommend. However, this is something that I used. So uh, yeah, I, I would recommend that uh, if you can find each an individual book, that is good enough. That is good actually. Second is uh, in human geography. This was my only source technically. There is one parallel source that I will tell that I, that I did. Uh, second was human geography. In terms of human geography, 
people use majid hussain i have also used majid hussain uh, search not but i uh, search book majid hussain m f hussain was the painter i guess yeah majid human <laughs> hussain okay majid hussain book i have personally found that it has less uh, uh, approachability to me uh, in terms of the first chapter of uh, human geography see these are the chapters of physical geography i'm sorry to tell uh, this in a unstructured manner i hope to cover everything that you are looking forward to in human geography uh one thing that comes is perspective second is i think economic geography third is something regard uh, in uh, okay uh, there are four, four more chapter five more chapters uh, as uh, there are in the physical geography and human geography models is uh, one of them models and theories theories so technically uh, in terms of uh, the rest of the four topics other than perspective i find majid hussain is a good source where you can inculcate a lot of facts from the uh, from the book in directly into the answers uh, there is a separate book of majid hussain on models and theory uh, that is a very good uh, a separate models and theory book by majid hussain that is actually very good book and i have been able to answer two questions last year also and two questions this year also from that book uh models are very limited only they are not too much models as uh, in those models and theories so just you just have to do them this was a very good source but as far as a comprehensive book for entire human geography in majid hussain i see its utility is a little less however it has a very good utility because it provides you with very good uh, uh topics like uh, adaptability adaptability to the climate different tribes living in different places how the population have increased etc etc population is also one of the topic so slowly slowly it will come in the brain so yeah population is also another topic very good cover some of the diagrams are also there like j curve s curve uh, etc etc i used them uh, a lot in this attempt in my second attempt so in those terms it is a very good source but in perspective terms i find it is overly hyped and i am being uh, very brute and honest i find it is overly hyped i don't think this is a book uh, that uh, i would ever recommend uh, for perspective for perspective try to find other source there are few books that i see many people uh, suggest like uh, rupa made simple etc uh, etc et uh, i have not personally used them so i will not endorse them uh, so one thing i must say about perspective is uh, if you have good uh, i good knowledge about perspective and you can use it integratedly here and there small and small things trust me your chances of increasing your number to 2 to 300 and 300 plus raise rises a lot perspective is something that you can inculcate in your even physical geography in human geography of course uh, uh, there are so many things in perspective like you can use in population uh, etc etc then in the second paper you can extensively use your perspective and if you use perspective it makes your answer geographical a lot of people ask how to make answers geographical up until the result even i never knew how to make it but uh, after the result i started to notice that yes there were some changes i made which made my answers uh, geographical one of the changes were was using perspective in my answer uh, so where did i did my perspective from i personally did perspective from a par parallel source which i will be telling uh, along with this i'll tell you before hand only uh, shabbir ahmed sir's notes were available in the market but they were very thick to me uh and i've never heard about uh, him also earlier so well, when i went to the shop i genuinely asked it, who is the most trusted source uh then he said shabir ahmed sir and then i asked him about his resource which was 3 4 years back uh older notes because they were lesser in thickness and to me zyada nahi ho pata mujhse jitna time available tha mere paas first attempt mein mere paas jitna time available tha first attempt mein zyada nahi ho pata <coughs> so basically mujhe uh chote notes chahiye the i wanted smaller notes so i pref I, i went to majid uh, sorry not majid uh, sen uh, shabir ahmed sir shabir ahmed sir so not and uh, in that the perspective is very good in the terms of coverage at least it covers everything you might not be able to understand all the perspective but if you are understanding the perspective through books like uh, uh, rupa made simple through majid the sensors not or even if this book is helpful to you in whichever way if the perspective if you are able to understand the perspective then your answer become very good but if you are not able to understand at least you should remember some of the things 
and you should know how to apply those things into the answer it does not matter to an examiner whether you have understood the concept or not examiner will only see if you have written it or not if you can include things from perspective it is well in, enough for me so for me personally uh, shabir ahmed sir's jo note jo bahut pehle jo uh, maine use kiya tha usme content available tha however the coverage perspective ka bhi i would say only 80 part hi coverage tha usme but i thought 80% is well good and enough agar kuch extra aayega i'll not choose that uh, question only but do not uh, play this risk this is a very risky thing to actually uh, look for uh, always try to achieve 100% syllabus coverage that will help you a lot it will not create uncertainty in your uh, preparation but i went with 80% uh, that was enough for me so yeah this is the first paper uh, th this is the source for the first paper in second paper indian geography we have almost uh, similar topics to discuss for example physical setting of india agriculture in india economic geography of india communication uh, etc etc linkages transportation all of those things are also in this uh, we will call it indian geography indian geography but uh, there is just one book i would say that is big enough to even look at heavy enough to carry <laughs> and uh, dreadful enough to scared about <laughs> and that is uh, uh, dr kullard book it is a very good written book an amazingly written uh, and uh, even revised book uh, it is constantly being uh, under revision and it has everything that is there uh, that you want to know but the problem with this book is it is a very thick book uh it's a, it is the heaviest book i've ever i think uh, hold in my hand so maybe uh, that uh, might dread you but trust me it is in a very simple lucid manner explained the idea here is to make the short notes of indian geography as much as you can from this book for example uh, suppose if a part is coming in indian geography like agriculture now if we look at agriculture there are multiple sub topics given in the syllabus remember this is actually a guiding light to us okay so there are multiple sub topics given in the uh, in the syllabus and almost all of it you can find in kullar dr kullar's book uh yeah so you can easily find all of those topics but the thing is once you have done dr kullar it's all over 1000 pages long you cannot revise it back from the kullar and also there are so many topics that you cannot remember that, that that you need not to study so look at the syllabus go to the book if you're using this book if you're using any other book maybe majid husain sir's book on indian geography whichever book you are using go to that book find the sub topic and prepare from it try to Uh, uh, lesson it like i would say try to notes banana usme se notes bana le wo bahut zyada zaruri hai right agar comprehensively notes nahi banta hai fir bhi kuch kuch topics ke notes banaye ja sakte hain baki uh, topics hum directly book se pad sakte hain usme koi issue nahi hai theek hai comprehensive note in the sense ki aapne sare topics ke un sare topics ke bhi sab topics ke nahi banaye it will work out uh, kuch kuch major topics ke bana lena taki sare cheezon ke uh, uh, sare cheezon ki cheez ko book se na padna pade then it will become a very very uh, hefty task for you So yeah that is uh, my my book list in oh, over there now i'll first talk about uh, two three mistakes that i committed and finally i'll go to some of the strategy part of it i cannot cover everything right now because i'm actually running short of time uh, sorry for that uh, yeah we'll 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 keep it as a guiding light for this session also these two things Yeah so a uh, couple of mistakes that i did i would say there are there were there were few mistakes which i would not want anyone to miss, to repeat only my enemies can miss, repeat it but there are not many there is no not anyone so yeah please don't repeat any mistakes uh, one thing is time management now time management both in terms of preparing and while writing while writing in the final paper what happen is geography is such a big uh, topic uh, it's a big subject and it's a uh, it's a very well known fact that it is it might be one of the biggest that is there uh, to choose as an optional yeah geography is is one of the language topics so it's important to manage your time while preparing also i would say roughly around 3 months is sufficient to complete geography as an optional studying and uh, being prepared enough either to have written the mock test or prepared enough to write uh, the mock test okay that i can considering uh, some of the people can take uh, uh, some extra time in the beginning 
uh, so they might not be doing uh, they might not be able to complete mock within this time only but some people can do it uh, most of the people can do it actually so one or two mocks you could have written by this time also okay so here i'm saying covering plus mock don't worry if you have not written mock in the in the three months of preparation it's totally okay uh, as an example of myself i've never written a single mock i've not written a single answer before my prelim selection in my last year uh, so it's okay things can be done you have enough time right but that's not something you should always aspire aspire for writing mocks uh, okay so three months is good so if you are in, in, in terms of time management preparing three months dedicatedly is a very good uh, way uh, try to make monthly and weekly targets daily targets is tough to follow but uh, abhi kabhi uska like hota na kabhi message aa gaya girlfriend ka to ho jata hai ki daily target daily nahi rehta tha two daily ho jata hai three daily ho jata hai so uh, whatever way you are comfortable try to keep target at least monthly and weekly appropriately daily target for those people who want to to uh, experience some uh, some really uh, good time management daily target for that also so overall try to keep uh, a monthly i would say roughly in my in my head whatever it is i would say geomorphology alone will, will take uh, two to three weeks maybe geomorphology then the rest of the uh, part of the physical geography will take uh, one month more maybe one month or, or more human geography uh, human geography will not take much time human geography overall will take uh, uh, 20 days at max if you have all the sources and everything at max 15 to 20 days it can take at max that is also not 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 in the first time when i'm when i'm when we are preparing first time notes banane mein wagaira wagaira karne mein 15 se 20 din lag sakte hain after that indian geography will take another one and a half month or something one month or one and a half month some people can really do all these things in half times some people will require all this time but it is just a tentative time that whatever the time frame you should if you want any but there is no need to stick to that be as free as you can so time management during preparation as already said mock test see mock test some people have a dilemma whether they should take mock test before prelims or after the prelims when the prelims is cleared one thing is whenever you are feeling comfortable giving mock then is the best option now that can happen before prelims also some people do not prepare uh, optional up until the prelims after that they do it so if they cannot genuinely give mock test before the prelims so after prelims if they are uh, ready to give mocks then they should give but all those people who are covering their optional subject before the prelims only uh, all those uh, all those people they should do mocks when they are feeling comfortable and at least to see previous year question paper the moment the topic is covered i have not done it that have uh, not been a very good uh, habit of mine so i'm not proud of that uh, i advise please do go back and look at the previous year question papers so yeah around uh, even at this time you can write mocks at that time you can write mocks even while preparing in this 3 months uh, initially you might take some time but after 1 month or 1 and a half month you can start writing mocks about those topics which you have read, already written there are dedicated sectional parts also that is given by the different coaching institutes sectional uh, uh, papers so you can give them mock test that will help you in understanding that what are the areas of uh, question that can be asked first second how you are uh, handling all the difficult questions that are coming difficult as, as compared to whatever your preparation is and uh, third how to manage the time in answers now that i will tell a little bit about here in the final paper also so this was regarding um, preparing time management regarding preparing final paper this is important that i want to tell uh, this is not something that is usually told but yeah this is something that i want to tell uh, because that all created a difference in my my this times score see what happened in prelim uh, in final paper final paper ka main pura template batata hu sabse pehle kya hota hai first day aise hota hai second day gs 1 plus 2 hota hai third day gs 3 aur 4 hota hai uske baad aata hai panch din ka gap five days ka gap aata hai five days uh, gap aata hai and then mandatory paper a language paper english and one more language is there i think uh, uh, yeah that happens and then optional one and optional two i mean optional paper one and paper two ka paper ek hi din hota hai so i will just give one of them okay so this is what it happens you get five days of gap between these usually what happens is 
पीपल डेडिकेट द वन डे टू इंग्लिश एंड दिस लैंग्वेज वाला पेपर इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू गिव टाइम टू दिस ऑल्सो इफ यू आर यू आर नॉट गेटिंग मिनिमम नंबर इन दिस नो यूर यूर इट डज नॉट मैटर हाउ गुड यू डिड इट इट वॉन्ट बी ऑफ एनी सब्सटेंस you will they they will either not get checked i think they will not get checked only at the first instance but if they get checked there is no no pro, no point you have not clear the minimum number that you have done it so at least one day before kar le uh, kar lena zaruri hai especially uh, this see the, usually what happens is for english medium people they think they can write in, uh, essay in english write article in english they just need to see once i understand it but when the other top language is coming for example uh, hindi urdu they have read they have read it in their uh, uh, school time it's better to actually for the for that one day to devote it's better to go back to previous year's questions what were the questions of last years and uh, to look at some of the vyakran or uh, the grammars of some of the things so it's important in that terms one day dedicated to this then you have around 5 days or 4 days i'm forgetting exactly how many days we get but i think 4 or 5 days is what we get last year what i did was in the final paper my time management was so 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 bad that uh, considering that we got 5 days i'm forgetting how many days you get i think we get we get 5 days considering we get 5 days for the first 4 days uh i did just geomorphology okay as i told there is there is paper 1 paper 2 paper 2 mein uh, physical aur fir aata hai human geography in physical first is geomorphology then climatology oceanography da 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 okay everything okay this is just uh, for the first 4 days i did geomorphology of that is the first chapter of physical geography which is the first part of the first paper only we have to do everything we have to revise all of them in 5 days and i just dedicated all the time to geomorphology now why i did that was because i was into more playing mood and uh, yeah uh, so i just kept playing only i, I forgot that ki karna bhi hai forget to nahi tha but thoda zyada casual ho gaya tha because my gs went decent only and i thought ki theek hai khel lete hain bhaiya ke sath wagera do not uh, do, do this in this attempt what i did was in the first 4 days i actually did the rest of the the questions and i dedicated one day at the fi- uh, one final day uh, ki main isme geomorphology karunga aur maine utna geomorphology kiya उसमें ही जोमोफोलॉजी किया इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट इज लास्ट ईयर जो मैंने चार चार दिन लगा के जोमोफोलॉजी किया मैंने उसका एक क्वेश्चन भी अटैम्प्ट नहीं किया बाकी मैंने पूरा मैंने पेपर अटैम्प्ट कर दिया बट उसके लिए मैंने सिर्फ एक ही दिन पढ़ा था अब एक दिन में कुछ नहीं हो पाया रिवाइज भी नहीं हो पाया बट दिस टाइम सिंस आई डेडिकेटेड फोर डेज टू दिस वन डे टू दैट एंड फाइनली सोने से पहले आई कुड रिवाइज ऑल दीज थिंग्स बिकॉज आई आई वॉज राइटिंग एज आई वॉज स्टडिंग आई डिड टू टाइम्स रिविजन ऑफ ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो दिस वॉज दिस टाइम एवरी थिंग वॉज इन सिंक this is before appearing in the final paper in the final paper i chose my papers uh, my questions correctly last year i think one of the question i chose was uh, a mistake by myself so time management in that terms is very very important this was the biggest mistake that i did second mistake was taking paper too lightly as my marks only dedicate uh, says that in the first attempt i got 128 plus 84 only in the second 129 plus 150 this is just 84 number they are not very very much they are very less uh very less uh, someone who is getting 84 uh, i'm pretty much sure should not make into the list also <laughs> so yeah 84 number is what i got in my uh, optional paper 2 uh, uh, the thing is i took it lightly uh, not knowingly uh, unknowingly only i thought because of a lot of part is coming in from the current affair even those mocks that i was giving i was not uh, knowing what to do and what not to do so i did not pay much much attention to this second paper but trust me if you are atten- paying more attention you can score 150 160 170 please do not uh, keep it lightly and final thing is previous year questions this is the mistake that i repeated again in this attempt also i never do previous year questions paper because i personally do not have a neck for it uh, i do not uh, maybe you can say like uh, i do not like doing it but trust me it's not about like it's about uh, making your answers liked by someone else uh, the examiner not uh, girlfriend or boyfriend examiner yeah so uh, previous year questions are actually must in terms of optional actually it is must if you are not doing it and then you are getting good marks it's uh, kudos to you but please do it and be sure that you are doing it i did not do it i did i repeated the same mistake please don't do it now last portion is strategy would not take much time 
uh, I was hoping that I can share some of the answers also, uh, but some of the answers that I wrote the uh, the approach to that also. But if uh, uh, because the time is a little less, and uh, but uh, as the time allow, I, I can try to do that also. Strategy, that I follow. Okay. We are trying to develop a rational uh, strategy, what a person can do, whether he has a lot of time, whether he does not have that much amount of time, what level of stage of preparation he is in. So I am trying to uh, understand what I did and trying to understand what uh, the other people's aspirations are and just briefly telling you about two, three things that you can do. Okay. First is dedicate at least two to three months, uh, two to three months for this, at least. If you can do it in the shorter time, kudos to you. But if you don't, please two to three months. कर लेना। ये paper पूरा, ये optional paper पूरा पूरा final list में नाम direct decide करता है, और वो आपका पूरा ज़िंदगी decide करता है, तो it's better to actually spend two three months, जिसके साथ जीवन बिताना है, time तो देना पड़ता है ना। Okay. Second is guidance, coaching and toppers. Yeah, what I was saying is, sorry, why I missed it? There is no undo in this. Dedicated two three months. Dusra is uh, try to have guidance uh, before uh, approaching to this. Like guidance can be as small as you are looking to this video, or if you don't like me uh, personally, you have an issue with me. Uh, try to look to any other person, whoever you want, uh, or uh, ask your senior, ask who is already who already have an option of in geography how to approach it. In case कुछ भी work नहीं कर रहा है, try to talk to some of the teachers that you have in the coaching. और अगर तभी work नहीं कर रहा है, you can try to take coaching also. The sources of guidance are multiple. You have to choose some of the sources. So if you are guided, see, right now I don't think there is a need to get guidance from other people because online इतनी सारे चीजें available हैं already. Uh, on, online, uh, there are so many sources available, so many toppers. Before me also, 83 uh, from this institute only. Uh, I'm not from this institute, but uh, 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 a geography person has given Anmol Shivastav, sir was the name uh, of his. So I watched his video, I was in the home only. There are multiple sources to have guidance. Please take guidance how to approach it about. Uh, third is focus on answer writing. Focus on answer writing. See, it's not, uh, I would say, it's very good if you are able to understand the concept, but it does not matter to understand a concept. It's very good if you have geography knowledge, uh, ge the wisdom of geography, but it's not necessary to have that wisdom. What you need to do is write an answer and uh, get your answers being corrected uh, by the examiner and get good number. I right now, I'm not able to recall, my just abhi result aaya ek week pehle, and I think I'm, I'm unable to recall my uh, my. Uh, my syllabus only. What was the syllabus? As you saw, I could not write. I could not write the full uh, chapters of the first chapter, uh, first paper only. Second paper, me to nagei nikhe. Samaj aagaya tha ki kuch nahi ho sakta. So it does not matter how much uh, uh, gyani you are. You should be knowing how to write the answer, and being able to convince him that yes, I know the answer, right? So answer writing, let alone, will help you. Does not matter how your preparation is. Now, how to get good in answer writing? There are two, three things. There are two three things. Okay, by the way, the way I'm making the diagrams and all this flowchart, these are also how I make my how I write, write my answers. You can see they are a little bit of descriptive, uh, they're diagrammatic in their own approach. So answer writing, see first is check mocks, do mocks, mocks please. Mocks dena bhoat zaroori hai, aapne chai ek diya ho, do diya ho, par dena zaroori hai. Aur decent number dena thoda sa safer rehta hai ki aap decent number of mocks de do. अच्छे से मॉक्स दो, गेट देम इवैल्यूएटेड बाय टीचर और एनी ऑफ योर कलीग्स, सीनियर्स वे ऑलरेडी बीन अपीयर्ड इन दिस मॉक्स। तो सेकंड इस सी टॉपर्स आंसर्स, टॉपर्स आंसर। इट्स सेल्डम डन थिंग। यूजुअली पीपल नेगलेक्टेड। द थिंग इस दे शुड रियली लुक टू द अदर पीपल्स आंसर। एंड they can use it. There's no patent, no copyright issue. Uh, you can totally use it. Uh, the topper's answer, how they have written, uh, the strategy they have used to approach a specific answer. So you can see, see Junaid Ahmed sir's uh, answers were there. Uh, Anmol Shivastav sir's answers were there. Uh, rank fifth, I'm forgetting the name of her. 
uh, her mem's answers also there like they are so beautifully written and trust me just five six answers if you see you'll be able to learn more than five six weeks of preparing uh, for this uh, uh, answer writing they have so beautifully written and they are so practical you will feel that even you can do this and once you are able to realize that trust me confidence comes with confidence good answer comes with good answer good selection comes and with good selection uh, life changes not for mom and dad they will always keep on asking you to wake up early on the time take shower every day go to the shop and all those things yeah majorly these were uh, three four things uh, that i wanted to discuss with you uh, i specifically want to reiterate one uh, element of my entire interview is to write good answer and now up until my interview i never knew what a good answer would look like in geography in gs i had a fair uh, idea so yeah in uh, optional i always thought that i don't know how to write answers uh, but it turns out that uh, my the way i was writing answers is, is, is actually somewhat similar to the right answers writing so focus on answer writing i will again uh, reemphasize on this thing now in geography there are two three things uh, that uh, you can actually do uh, uh, yeah you can know, actually do to make actually your answer good in generalistic manner okay one thing is use of diagram now we all know hindustan ka naksha uh, bharat ka naksha like india ka jo map hai we all make uh, used to make diagrams of that ऐसा कोई इश्यू नहीं आता है वो बड़ा फ्लुएंटली चला जाता है वर्ल्ड मैप वगैरह अपन काफी यूज कर सकते हैं करना भी चाहिए द बेसिक स्ट्रेटेजी इस मैप में पर्सनली मुझे लगता है कि हर आंसर में एक ना एक डायग्राम होना चाहिए वो डायग्राम चाहे वो भारत का हो दुनिया का हो या फिर वो डायग्राम एक फ्लो चार्ट ही ना हो जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल फ्लो चार्ट कैन बी दिस ऐसे करना मतलब रिगार्डिंग सो so, कोई भी एक डायग्राम जरूरी है थोड़ा सा अगर हो जाएगा तो थोड़ा लाइक अच्छा लगता है ओके okay. second is to interlink your answers even if it is not the subject for example even if it is on paper 2 please interlink with with the, the geographers of paper 1 the philosophers or the or the geographers of uh, the, the perspective of paper 1 human geography so for example suppose in india a question comes on the population uh, growth you population growth you can totally Uh, link it with the demographic transition theory DTT. Demographic transition theory is like that. As a which, what that? Yeah, I think everybody knows about it. Uh, demographic transition theory. You can also talk about uh, uh, the Malthusian theory of uh, I think uh, how more population can create problem, resource crunch. You can totally link it with the resource to population ratio, ultimate population, etc., etc. etc etc so these are the first uh, first papers con- concept which i'm using in the second question so second paper first paper ke concept second paper mein laga raha hu this makes your answer integrated that's how inter- integrated interlink you should be third is even if you don't know the answer even if you don't know the topic that you what the question is asked is asking for if you just remember the syllabus no by remembering r e m e m b r aisa kuch hota hai okay does not matter रिमेंबर uh, सिलेबस अगर सिलेबस याद होना तो आधी चीजें वैसे ही सॉल्व हो जाती हैं क्योंकि आपके पास सारे पॉइंट्स आ जाते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल अगर मैं कोई क्वेश्चन पूछता हूँ वाई इज देर पॉवर्टी इन इंडिया राइट इट्स अ जर्नलिस्टिक आंसर यू कैन एनी पर्सन कैन राइट दिस आंसर बट हाउ विल इट बी ए जोग्राफिकल आंसर सी द थिंग इज वेन आई से जोग्राफिकल आंसर इट लुक्स लाइक बड़ा डरावना आंसर होगा कुछ जोग्राफी का होगा बट इट कैन बी इजिली रिटर्न इन जोग्राफी आंसर ओके आई फॉर्गेट द क्वेश्चन Uh, why is poverty in india poverty in india right so this is actually a brief demo that i'm giving uh, how to uh, what how this will help this will help this will help everything will help see poverty in india why the question is why now how to make it geographical we all know poverty mein jo issues hain uh, why poverty is there but how to make it geographical is just by going through the syllabus or by making more diagrams by interlinking with the first paper now We, uh, as I will be writing, we will be knowing all these things. First, I'll tell. Uh, see, you can totally use the theories that are over here. You can use Malthusian theory. You can use DDT, etc. You'll get one point from there. You can easily get one point from there. Second is you can actually uh, uh, you can actually use the syllabus. I'm using some of the uh, some of the pro, uh, some of the points from syllabus. For example, there is a chapter on regional uh, regional development. 
it's actually a big topic in the syllabus itself i'm just using the name just write it and write few of the things uh, in this point uh, third uh, we can use uh, how uh, how not, uh, the governance is also a part uh, of uh, the uh, the geography so how governance ki ineffectiveness is actually creating poverty then uh, slowly slowly you can easily find almost everything is there for example uh, we may say that there is a little bit of faulted economic structure jahan pe too much too much of focus is uh, on uh, not uh, uh, so uh, uh, labor intensive uh, sector etc or edan ki efficiency utni achi nahi hai for example uh, overcrowding in agriculture disguised population etc so that you can find in agriculture wala part और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वाला पार्ट एवरीथिंग इज ओवर देयर इवन द सिटी डेवलपमेंट मॉडल एंड ऑल दोस थिंग्स यू कैन फाइंड द नेम इन द सिलेबस एंड जस्ट मेक फ्यू पॉइंट्स आउट ऑफ इट ट्रस्ट मी योर आंसर विल बी ज्योग्राफिकल आंसर एंड यू विल गेट अ गुड नंबर दिस आई एम डूइंग इवन विदाउट ड्राइंग अ डायग्राम इफ आई ड्रॉ द डायग्राम इट्स लाइक सोने पे सुहागा इफ यू डू दैट नॉट इफ यू शुड डू दैट द मोमेंट यू गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी ड्रॉ इट द मोमेंट यू डोंट गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी क्रिएट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड डू इट इट डज नॉट मैटर कुछ पूछाओ कुछ भी पूछाओ डायग्राम बन सकता है पोवर्टी का डायग्राम बना सकते हैं अपन इंडिया में इजीली इवन इफ आई डोंट नो आई कैन इजीली मेक कि कहां कहां पोवर्टी ज्यादा हो सकती है कहां ज्यादा हो सकती है जहां पे एग्रीकल्चर ज्यादा अच्छा नहीं है जहां पे पॉपुलेशन बहुत ज्यादा है पोवर्टी ठीक ठाक हो सकती है वहां पे तो एक रेफ डायग्राम बनाया जा सकता है इनकेस की आपके पास कोई डायग्राम नहीं हो बट मेरे पास तो यहां पे डीडीडी है लाइक मैं पॉपुलेशन रिसोर्स वाला बना सकता हूं डायग्राम सो डायग्राम्स आर देयर सो हैव अ कॉपी ऑफ डायग्राम सो या दिस इज रिगार्डिंग आंसर राइटिंग एंड वन मोर थिंग इज टाइम मैनेजमेंट in answer writing see the thing is uh, overall uh, you have to understand that uh, uh, you have to complete all the paper in 3 hours you have to uh, f- uh, judge which of the questions that you should do for uh, usually paper ka aisa hota hai template 4 5 4 6 7 8 or 9 hota hoga no 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 5 to hota hai ye ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव आर मैंडेटरी दे आर मैंडेटरी यू हैव नो चॉइस देन यू कैन चूज थ्री क्वेश्चंस आइदर वन फ्रॉम दिस एंड टू फ्रॉम दिस और वन फ्रॉम दिस सॉरी और टू फ्रॉम दिस एंड वन फ्रॉम दिस ऑल द थ्री शुड नॉट बी फ्रॉम वन रीजन ओनली वन रीजन ओनली सो दीज आर टू डिफरेंट सेक्शन एक्चुअली सेक्शन ए सेक्शन बी so this is how it is done so time management in choosing which questions you have to do and then applying how much time you should give to 10 markers how much to 15 marker how much to 20 markers time management will actually help you uh, in managing time not time management answer writing will help you in answer writing in mocks will help you to judge how much time isko dena how much time isko dena isko dena i forgot what was the wake time that i was using otherwise i would have told you but i actually forgot what was the wake time yeah all these things uh, were uh, almost everything that i was that i wanted to tell there is one more thing it just not coming in the brain has wait geography uh yeah okay one final thing actually what i wanted what i want to say is oh, i'm focusing too much on this uh h2o is water always keep yourself hydrated it does not matter क्या हो रहा है कीप योर सेल्फ हाइड्रेटेड थ्रू आउट दिस प्रिपेरेशन नॉट जस्ट इन ऑप्शनल लेटर पार्ट ऑल्सो कीप ड्रिंकिंग वाटर डू नॉट बिल्ड टू मच स्ट्रेस ऑन ऑन योर सेल्फ एंड एज आई ऑलरेडी हैव मैंशन बिफोर एंट्रिंग इन टू द एग्जाम डोंट फॉर गेट टू डू टॉयलेट सो सो करना बहुत जरूरी है अदरवाइज अगर पेपर के बीच में आ गया और पेपर छूट रहा है ट्रस्ट मिस गोइंग टू बी हेल्प फॉर यू इट वॉज हेल्प फॉर मी इन जी एस थ्री आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट द सेम हेल्प फॉर यू सो प्लीज मेक श्योर ऑफ ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड आई होप uh uh we can we can do uh, we can be more uh, interactive in this uh, uh, similar way we can be more interactive but if, uh, for for today that is all that i have to say uh, thank you very much